Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing a look inside the Saxon math curriculum, specifically the Algebra 1 half as well as the Algebra 1. This is our second year using the Saxon curriculum. Last year we used the Algebra 1 half curriculum and this year we are currently using the Algebra 1 curriculum. So um, we have enjoyed the use of Saxon. Um, prior to this level of math, we use Horizons math. So I already did a flip through or a look inside the Horizons math curriculum that we use with our younger sons. So I'll be sure to link that video down below in case you'd like to check it out. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna show a look inside this curriculum. Saxon is a spiral approach to math learning. Um, so there are two major approaches to math learning, which are spiral as well as mastery. Mastery is more um, of the approach that you work on a new topic, you work on it till you master it, till you get it and then you move on to the next thing. In spiral it's a little bit different in that new topics are introduced but once you have that topic introduced you go back and review previously learned topics and then you go learn something new, review what you've learned on other topics, learn something new and it kind of spirals up hence the name spiral. So that is the approach that Saxon uses as well as Horizons which I, again I shared in our previous video. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you a look inside this curriculum. Okay, so this is a look inside the Saxon curriculum for the Algebra 1 half as well as the Algebra 1. Um, again, this is the third edition. Um, Saxon has also come up with a fourth edition. It does have a different layout, and I will say that the fourth edition, which I'll insert a picture so you can see what that looks like, um, has geometry as a separate course or a separate book. In the third edition, which is what I'm going to show you, um, Saxon designed geometry to be incorporated within the Algebra 1 and the Algebra 2, so that by the time your children finish with the Algebra 2, they would have had um, the equivalent of a geometry course. So I'm going to show you the Algebra 1 half first, which is the equivalent of a pre-algebra course, and then the Algebra 1. All right, so this is a look inside the Algebra 1 half course. Um, there are 123 lessons within this course. So I'm going to show you kind of a look inside the table of contents so that you can see the different topics that are covered within the course. Again, this is the equivalent of what you would consider a pre-algebra course. Um, normally, this could be done during seventh or eighth grade. My oldest son actually completed this in the sixth grade, um, but I know it is designed usually for seventh to eighth graders. In addition to the 123 lessons, there are also additional topics so that if your child finishes all of his coursework, there are additional topics that you can go through. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple sample lessons inside the book so you can see how it's laid out and then I'll show you a look inside the tests and the teacher keys. So here is lesson 10 so it covers the topic of divisibility and what Saxon does is that he has an explanation of the lesson, has provides examples with the solutions, and then always has a practice set that you're able to do with your student in, as you introduce the topic. After the practice set, then there is a problem set and there are 30 problems in each problem set um, that your student can complete. I will say in the back of this student book, I'll quickly show you, there is actually the answer key to the odd numbers. So just so that you know as a teacher that is there. Um, but again, there are 30 problems within each problem set. So flipping forward a little bit later on into the course, we'll move into lesson 120, which is much further near the end of the year. This is a volume of pyramids, cones, spheres, and the surface area of pyramids and cones. So again, there is an explanation of the course, or the, not the course, I'm sorry, the lesson. And then there is the practice problems as well as the problem set. Again, 30 um, problems within each problem set. Um, for this year, um, what we decided to do is also incorporate the videos, the teaching videos by Nicole the Math Lady. I'll be sure to link that down below in case you're interested in checking it out. Uh, my husband actually covers this teaching. So this is the only 
um, subject that I do not directly teach the boys. My husband, once they reach algebra one half, he takes over as teaching them their algebra and the higher level math. Um, but for this year, we also added in Nicole, the math lady's teaching videos, kind of to supplement and aid also in the teaching. And that has worked very well. Um, and that's actually for algebra one. Again, this was done last year. And for last year, my husband did all of the teaching for this. All right, taking a look inside the test booklet, there are 31 tests within the course. And the nice thing is that right in the front cover, it tells you when um, you are to administer each test. So for example, test one covers materials up to lesson four, but is to be given after lesson eight. For example, test 25 covers information, content covered up to lesson 100, but should be given after lesson 104. So it makes it very easy to know when you should give your um, student their tests. All right, so moving on into the teacher portion. So there are two different books that you can purchase. There is the homeschool packet as well as the solutions manual. Um, we purchase both just because we like the additional things that are included in each of these books. So in the homeschool packet, what you will find are the test solutions. So here they have the workout. So it just shows how each problem in every test is worked out. So this is test seven, for example all of the answers and also how they are worked out. So that could be very helpful to you as a teacher as you're working with your student, figuring out maybe where they went wrong or how they're able to solve the different problems. So again, this has all of the test solutions and in the back, it also has textbook answers. So not the solutions. So it won't show you how the problems are worked out, but it will give you the answers of each of the problems. So for some, this may be enough, um, but we also wanted to get the additional um, solutions manual for the problem. So this only has the solutions for the textbook problems. So again, it has the workout um, for each of the problems within the textbook. So this is very helpful. All right, the Algebra 1 course is what our oldest son is taking this year in seventh grade. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier, Saxon designed um, a portion of the geometry credit for high school to be incorporated into this Algebra 1. So it's actually Algebra 1 with some additional geometry incorporated. Um, so there are 120 lessons in the Algebra 1 course. And I'll just show you kind of what the table of contents looks like. So that is that and to show you a sample lesson, lesson 10, this is division by zero, exchange of factors and multiplication, the conversion of area. So same setup as the algebra one half. There is an explanation of the topic. There are um, practice problems that you can do with your student. And then there is the problem set, which also has 30 problems, just like in the algebra one half course. Moving forward um, in the course to lesson 120, we have box and whisker plots. So again, there's an explanation of the content of that lesson. And then you have your practice set as well as your problem set. And as I mentioned, for this particular year, algebra one, we are also incorporating the videos by Nicole, the math lady. There is a glossary in the back as well as the answers for the odd number problems. All right, so for the tests, same setup as the one half course, only that there are only 30 tests in the Algebra 1. But again, it will tell you when um, you are to give each one of the tests and the materials covered in each of the tests. And as far as the homeschool packet, it is the same exact setup. You have the test solutions in this booklet with just the problem answers. And then in this one, you have the actual solutions for the textbook problems. So that is kind of how that is laid out. All right, so that is a look inside the Saxon Math Algebra and the Pre-Algebra curriculum. Um, in the next few days, I also hope to do a video kind of with some teaching tips for upper level math. As I mentioned, uh, my husband does the teaching for the upper level math. He's an electrical engineer. He's a definitely a math and science guy. It's a blessing to have him teaching um, our upper level math for the homeschool. So I'm gonna be teaming up with him and coming up with some top tips for teaching upper level math. So you can look out for that video. I pray that you and your family are well. I hope you are blessed. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. Many blessings to you and I look forward to talking to you soon.